Welcome back. We are now on part seven of the Cyberpunk series we're doing, and we've just come across Johnny Silverhands. Obviously, we just had to get repaired by the Ripper Doc and all this kind of good stuff. But well, hopefully, having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And we've got quite a few messages, but we've also got Johnny stood right in front of us. And apparently, we just need to leave the apartment. So, before we go ahead, let's have a look what we've got here. Body count lottery. Congratulations, you picked the correct number in today's body count lottery. You are the lucky winner of the Quadro Sport i7 Vigilante. Don't drive it. All in one place. Uh, this is a scam. Can't believe I won. You got a Vigilante has been shipped to your address. Please play again. Wait, have we just been given a new car? Well, I think we've just been given a new car. Capitalism is a fish served cold. First will come with great reality check which ushers in the future of the world. Okay. Victor Vector, hey V. Thought, you, uh, thought just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the major leagues right by starting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up there on the top of the world. Old timers like me hate to watch you kids catch, uh, catch a cold. Left you a couple of things in your stash at the apartment. Give them an honest try and I bet they'll fit just right. Uh, go on, Vic. Feel like I owe you a bajillion eddies already. No way I can accept another gift. People respond straight away. Another. Hope you don't think these Kiro Shees were charity. Anyway, uh, where else would I find a home for these things? Not Misty Style and my punk days are long behind me. I think you just give us some clothes. I've still got the message from uh, Jackie. Because Jackie has unfortunately passed away. Hope they serve you. Maybe they don't anymore. Okay. Where's the, uh, where's the claws? Jesus! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. So they can control each other. See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Ah. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit, fruit creeping, creeping into you. you. Nothing, Nothing I can, I can do, do about it. it. You hear me? I'd puke, I'd puke if I, if I fucking, fucking could. could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm, I'm out, out there, there somewhere. somewhere. Gotta, Gotta be. Fuck, 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 fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> oh, I can move. Leave me alone. Get out! Get out. Just, get Just get the, the fuck, fuck out. out! Led to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, hear asshole? Me, A bullet to the fucking fuck brain! Oh, fuck me. Do we take the red pill or the blue pill?
Act number two. All right. Got four experience points. For some things we're going to have to do. Open wardrobe. So we said we got some new things, right? Whoa. That's red. Kind of like that. Is this the witcher jacket? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have just some punk. And then our corpore suit as well. Kind of like the corpore suit. What pants have we got? I don't know to go actually go with this. Or if I go with this jacket. Because I only have two jeans, right? So I've got the jeans are the pants. And then boots. I've got shoes or trainers. I guess we'll go with the shoes. Because I don't have any hair thingies. Um, hats or gas masks or anything. Then I can set my wardrobe here as well to like different things. So I can quickly switch between them. Delamain. Dear Mr. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Damn. Delamain taxi services, isn't it? Can I go in here? So here's my weapon stash. So this is what I'm currently carrying. We might have to sell some of these. Rag rug vest. I must have picked some of these up, like, in the first episode. Not in the first episode, last episode. Multiple pistols. Do we have a weight? We must have a carrying. Oh, yeah, we do. 71 out of 200. So the submachine gun's not bad. This pistol's pretty good. The shotgun. We've not really tried. The assault rifle I wasn't a fan of. I think I'm going to stick with that pistol. And maybe them right because that's a lot of weight we've just gone through there now then we have the katana which i've been using tier two iconic that's a tier one headshot damage multiplier and bleeding chance can we not throw these thrown hit supply bleeding we can And is this what we're currently... No, this is not... Okay, so it doesn't show what we're currently wearing in, like, on our person right now. Which is good, I suppose. Saburo's dog tag. How much are these selling for? 630. Let's, cause we would have got to pass the, um, what's it called? Any of them with the, wait, is that pistol? Gonna, well, I don't think we can sell that, can we? Oh, we can. 819. Um, we're going to go past the store anyway, so we might as well sell it. I think I kind of like that gold one. All right. 
I wonder what the hell that was. Uh, check for email. Messages. Rent past you. Dear sir and madam, our records show that we have not received this month's rent payments for your unit in Mega Building H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement VD 2330-1572-2077, any subsequent uh, payment delay will result in forced eviction from the property. Uh-oh. How do I pay this? Can I pay this? I think I'd want to keep my... Uh, my thing if possible. You're a dumb. Why is that green there? Why is that green? We don't have any ammo. Grab junk. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for our new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it's also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? Though, uh, though not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Pollard is still a solid ex uh, ex uh, experimental... Uh, ex ex experiential... Experiential ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been persuasive in films, brain dance, the urban legend uh, alike. Still, foreign body borrows some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to mix, uh, to, mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspective of the sentient arm. Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been a chock a block full of horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is punished to the brink of cyber psychosis so we can relive his return in normal normalcy. The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual re reintegration into what that is now different from uh, how he left it. This BD is a must relive of the season, but it's not uh, for the faint of heart. Badlands Raid. At last, a BD uh, for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour de, f tour de force of time. For those uh, of you who are unfamiliar, the plot revolves around the ordinary, boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on the Zedatech convoy. I won't spoil it, because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is this. The remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classic lovers and newbies alike. So, the movies are actually brain dances? It's kind of cool. Tell me to stock up on ammo. Where's my ammo? Do I have ammo? Ah. Oh, Takamura. Takamura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Um. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Tom's Diner. I am waiting. Tom's Diner. Isn't that a song, Tom's Diner? Mega Building H2 Administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Whenever money changes hands, your true becomes uh, your true self becomes a victim of capitalism. Who is this Bartmoss Collective? And why do they keep sending me random shit? Good 
one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. No, I uh, have no trouble. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, uh, in need of iron and lead, then I take it. Uh, yeah, I want to sure. sell some things. Let me see what you got. I would like to sell some things. You have forty thousand on you. Sell, sell. Is you want to sell this item? Yes. Pistol and pistol. I like this pistol. Um, did I bring? Is that the one I wanted to use or sell? Can't remember. Anyway, it's gone. We have some like attachments here, which we need to figure out where to use them. Got ammo. We're all good. I don't want to buy anything back of him. Oh boy. Incendiary grenade. You have quite a few stuff. There's a bit of it all. Long scope. Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped. Hello, I'm Eric. There's been some performance changes. Today is a sad one in our city's history. But for some reason, it definitely feels a lot smoother than what I did in the last recording. Because obviously I'm recording this after a weekend. I'm recording this on the 26th. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant. Right, which way am I coming out here? I think I'm going out this way. No, this way. I'm looking at the map. <laughs> so, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. The fuck were you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Can we have a look at our journal? Praying for time. Meet with, so we've got quite a few here. We've got Phantom Liberty, which obviously just come out today. Uh, we're not going to touch this until we complete the main one. We've got Heroes. I don't usually give advice, but fuck it. Here goes. Don't make me uh, make the same mix. Don't make the same mistake that I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Well was your best tune, and you don't find a lot of straight up peeps like that in New York, uh, in Night City. I was going to say New York City. Best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks, I didn't say, uh, I didn't just say all of that to you. Got it. I got it. Human nature. There's so many bloody things to do. I'm thinking. We. Go meet Takamura and then see what he's got to say and then we're going to jump onto Heroes, I think. So... So we can only track one job at a time. We can't have like a main mission and a thingy mission. We're going to do the Phantom Liberty after we've done that. We've completed 10 missions, but we have 9 missions available to us. Good to know. Right, so now the world is our oyster, right? Like, we can do things. We could before, but I feel like more now we can. Uh-oh. Sorry, I was in the middle of something. I'll call you later. Call, uh, call you right later. Uh, we're calling Mama Wells. Hey. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But... I am hanging in there. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Calling to offer my condolences. Mm -hmm. Let's stay to my car. Condolences. Oh, he 
Jesucristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Uh... Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. This vehicle actually handles better than the previous one. This is Tom's diner, isn't it? Excuse me. It looks like a piece of shit, but like, it handles pretty well. I wonder if we can like, customise this. Tom's diner. Oh, there he is. Sit. I'm, what do you think I'm going to do? Stand at side you of you? Do not to look so bad. Scratch me ass. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn. What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Be wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip. The relic is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this conversation, Takamura, but I... I'm so distracted by the waitress behind you and the person that's constantly eating a burger. The so, like, they've been stood there for a while now. 
Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. I even I didn't even know what was going on in that, so I wasn't watching it. Oh, she's back at the bloody table again. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time. To plan, organize, you stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. She might find if me. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. It feels like you lose everybody. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly... Dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. They unloaded on this poor Geroy all the Soviet's stickiest problems left solved. Mean to say you worked for Suburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most <coughs> things that happen in the city. Might be worth Excuse asking me? her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. 
I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Roger, Roger. Then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Okay. Bye, Takamura. Zapper dumples and filth. Hello. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed I suppose that was a good point, right? Because everyone's just staring at me. Don't watch it dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Look at things. <laughs> Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Is it Rogue a fixer? Or a hacker or something? You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. <laughs> Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? <laughs> Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. <laughs> Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Can you take this flipping order or something? Even though she got plenty of food. Jeez. All right. So automatic job. So let's have a look at our journal here. Uh, automatic love, um, which is Judy. Who is the who? Who we did with the brain dance, right? With um, with Evelyn. Um, but let's have a quick check out this heroes. So this is from Mama Wells. El Coyote Coho. Is it Coyo or Coho or Cojo? A dive in Haywood, run by the universally liked Mama Wells. His clientele mainly consists of locals. But any, anyone who can uh, appreciate good food uh, has the means of having greeted arms. Okay. So let's go and see Mama Wells. The Glen. Rewind a few decades back to Night City Council. Was on its knees begging corporations to help rebuild the city. The Glen became home to the new city hall. It's no surprise that, that when the Glen feels much safer and organized than other districts. With millions of eddies invested on every corner... Reconciliation Park's uh, promises a literal breath of fresh, uh, fresh air, while the elegance of the surrounding architecture rem reminds you that the bustle of Night City is never out of reach. City Hall is the main attraction of the Glen and the seat of the city's mayor. But venture away from the, ti uh, the tidiness and the sophistication, and you'll quickly start noticing rundown buildings and the menacing faces of the uh, Valentinos and the Sixth Street Gang. You won't get that in the tourist guides, still. The very fact that there's such a drastic social and the economy, uh, economic, economic, economy, economy, that doesn't sound right. Difference only a few blocks away from the city hall says a lot about how cities run. Economic. Bring gold brat. Bring gold brat. Bra, bra. All right, did I select that job? I didn't, I didn't track it, did I? I did not track it. So let's go and see Mama Wells. El Captain Reyes, who's this? Messages, uh, Moomar El Captain Reyes. V, you heard you're making a name for yourself out there. How's about some new digs too, huh? 
My tomb over at Easy Estates told me there's a few fresh units for rent. They could give you the current pad a makeover too. Go there, check the net page, or visit them in person before some gonk grabs the best one. I think it's one right up your alley. Ooh. Thanks, I'll drag it out. So we can upgrade the the apartment. That's what I'm talking about, V. You'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only the best for the people. Hell yeah. We called her anyway, so that's no need. Banging sale. Okay. Right, let's go and see Mama Wells. Brooklyn Darista. I think I am going to, like, drive most places because I, I don't want to miss something that we could run into or... Oh, this vehicle has got some power. I can feel it as soon as I hit the acceleration. It just takes off. Who's this? You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Hey, Dino! Uh oh What are you doing? Dino. This is a new part of town I've never been in before. I kind of like the whole mu the whole muscle car. Heard you home already. Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Is that Jesse's father? Come and see me in a little Sebastian Padre Ibarra. I think that's Jesse's father, I think. I could be wrong. See that? As soon as I have to slowly press on the gun. What's that? What the hell's going on over there? What's going on in here? Hello? Oh shit. Oh! Pam, do you guys need help? Who are they fighting? Who are these guys? Oh. I think the cops are going to win. NCPD! Go from this side! Yeah, the cops are easily going to win that. NCPD! There is something about the driving that is not like other driving games, say for example. There's definitely some more weight to the cars. That makes sense. They're not as like crazy responsive. It feels a lot like a lot more realistic. -y. That makes sense. Excuse me. 
you definitely can't put your, your foot on the trigger all the way down. Otherwise, your tires are just going to spin out. Coyote Coho. I think it, I think if it is Spanish, wasn't it? It would be Coho, right? Oh, this is the um. So maybe we scooch it. Well, you do the benchmark in the game, in the options. Hey, Mama Welts. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit, sit. Okay. Want a beer? I would love a beer. Wouldn't mind one. Salud. Salute. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure, some beer'd be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. You want to take part in the ceremony, but want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory. I, mean, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. Ooh. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. His garage? Oh, my, these bought off clip for the best weapon against capsules, isn't it? Shut up! Who is this Padre guy? Come and see me uh, in my little parish when you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. Uh, swing the thing. Club's always open if you need a stiff drink. Electric uh, orgasm. Can't miss it. Good to know. Uh, Robert Wilson. Banging sale. Hey V, need a favor. Tune back. Want to hold a clearance sale? No junk. Pre merch only. You know me. Problem is, hardly no one else does. Busy slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around? Won't find it better deals any place else. And if you could put out a good word to your tombs, I really appreciate it. And Evelyn Parker. You there? Oh. Unable to deliver a message. Re uh, re uh, recipient. Maybe temporary unavailable. Ooh, okay. Yes. Where's his... Yo, B, what's up? Open up now. Kabuka, won't spoil this. Just come and see me. Arayo, book six. Oh, this is the fight, right? 
These are the fights. Watson, open up now. You're a free man. Just don't forget about the fights, all right? It'd be a shame not to put that talent of yours to good use. Yeah, these are the street fights, which we've not got around to doing yet. We'll have to look into that at some point. Oh, look who it is. It's Misty. Ivy. Hey, Misty. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was going to happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. A herd distracts me, though. Hence why I keep calling a bird nest. No, Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. You two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You want him? You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. What's he got, though? Oh! It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Damn. Tier 2 components. Key to Jackie's room. Something's popping up, but it doesn't. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. 
How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? ¿Va? Oh, Jackie. ¿Es una mandala? Mm-hmm. Es una larga historia. Hey, ¿estás bien? Right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Wait, so that's made out of sand? Like different colored sands and like basically drawn. Isn't it just a little uh, janky? <laughs> it's hideous, <laughs> but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. We'll just take his cash. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized and then he left. And why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Messages. Gorgeous ride along for a new owner. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a beauty in preem condition. Price is good, a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested, because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace, Sid. Saturday from Victor. This Saturday, the boys are uh, competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Civets versus Blanco. Beers are already cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by KO in the third round. You better have the eddies. Not letting you off the hook this time. Then Dex as well. I vouch for you and V, he heard about you. Remembered you all too well even. He'll uh, want to meet uh, with V, but I think it's just a formality. See you in the afterlife. That's from T-Bug regarding Dex, who is now dead as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, expert uh, extract quack hacks and quick hack crafting specs. So one C E nine B D. One C one C E nine. One C one C E nine. C E nine. One C E nine B D. Figured out how to do that now. His favorite tequila. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Oh, I've not thingied. Set my, uh... An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And Keybind taco profile. was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more.
Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <laughs> 2020. Can we take this? I want the keys to his bike. Okay, nothing else can be done. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay away. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. Okay. Just be careful. Look at this guy. He was a fat boy. Oh. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. They are oh, it's Padre. P. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Oh, it's Vic Victor. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> God, I can I still to almost speech. feel it. I'm gonna have to do a bloody speech, aren't I? Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another <laughs> time. In another place. 
Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. He made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. He thought he was bulletproof and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chew. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. What is that? You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch Ooh. on it. So don't get any scratches on it. The bike! Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Bye. Campos all torn up. Poured you another? Hey, you! For Jaquito. Have a drink with us. Hmm? Listening's a skill, you know. Wells? I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. <laughs> <laughs> I got only good memories of him. <coughs> Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. All right, let's go. <sighs> it uh, sucks to meet like this, huh? Farewells aren't that bad once you get used to them. <laughs> Have you gotten used to them? When you get to my I'm gonna age, walk out this place drunk. Come and go. Too much tequila. Just mostly go. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Ah. I don't know what it is I was drinking, but... Well, there we go. It we laid him to rest, but now we have Jackie's bike. Ooh, baby. The sound of that. 
together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you me. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. If someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, we need fresh wheels, bikes. I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Roger, roger. I'm just kind of annoyed how I got a little bit of a scratch on this already. Even though when I was told not to. I don't even know where I'm driving to right now. Let's just pull over here and see where I need to go. But we do have a... Another message. We need to call Judy Alvarez. Lee? That you? Oh, it's Judy. Shit. I thought you were... Gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. I thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Ooh. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. Are you at Lizzie's? Okay. Well, I guess well, he says well, we need to go and find uh, Evelyn. But well, let's go and meet Judy. 